Greetings and welcome inside the Cedar Falls Community Television Studio where today we're going to bring you a new television program series called Serving the Valley. And the goal with this show is to show you some of the top service organizations right here in the Cedar Valley. And it's our hope that you see something during this TV series that you want to become actively involved in. And on today's show, we put the spotlight on the Volunteer Center here in the Cedar Valley. And joining me is the Executive Director, Lauren Fink. Thanks for joining me. And I know a little bit about the Volunteer Center here in the Cedar Valley, but let's talk more about it. What's your mission and what do you hope to accomplish over the course of the year? Sure. Well, the Volunteer Center is here to promote and support effective volunteerism all throughout the Cedar Valley community. The really great thing about our organization is that we're able to connect with over 125 not-for-profit organizations in the community and provide their volunteer opportunities to members of the Cedar Valley community. It's a one-stop shop for volunteering. Volunteering is such an important thing. What I love about it is you can be any age and volunteer. Mm -hmm, most definitely. And we do represent all different ages of people looking to get involved. All the way from some of our youth programs that have age three, all the way up to as old as you want to be and you're still able to get connected. So let's talk about some examples of organizations that you work with, with volunteering here in the Cedar Valley. Mm -hmm. Some are large, some are small. We work with all of them. Um, some of the highlight organizations that we tend to do a lot with are well-known organizations in the community, the Northeast Iowa Food Bank, mm -hmm. Aspire Therapeutic Writing Program. But we also work with some of the smaller organizations that just do a lot of one-time events in the community. Um, My Waterloo Days is an example. Mm -hmm. uh, we do some things with a Bosnia and cultural festival that happens annually as well. So you'll see some of those one-time opportunities, but also more long-term opportunities that you can get engaged in for an entire year. So getting engaged is very important. How do people get connected? Who do they contact? What do they do? If they say, I want to volunteer, but I don't know what I want to volunteer with here in the Cedar Valley. Well, we post volunteer opportunities in a variety of ways. The best way to check out all of the available opportunities is to visit our website. Um, right on the website, each of our agencies have the ability to log in and post their volunteer opportunities directly to the site. So mm -hmm. anybody can go visit any time of the day, browse those opportunities, and get connected that way. And you can um, see on the screen there your website, your Facebook page, your Twitter account as yep. well. So you bring up another good idea is that you can visit some of those social media sites to check out those opportunities. We are posting on a daily basis to Facebook and Twitter, um, Pinterest as well, um, and those are places that you can go spot various organizations and opportunities and get connected by reaching back out to the Volunteer Center. But in addition to that, if you don't have access to the internet or choose to go about it a different way. Mm -hmm. We are reaching out to the public through the courier on a weekly basis. Great. Every Sunday in the Cedar Valley section, you'll notice a listing of four or five volunteer opportunities that way as well. And of course, we're always available to answer questions on the phone, help walk and talk people through available opportunities, and just get a sense or a feel of what they're most interested in. So who, who are you connecting with? You talked about some of the agencies, but also the people that you are matching with these agencies. Yeah, so we do spend a lot of time talking to individuals, looking for experiences, but also groups. It's a time for if a service club wants to get involved in something or a youth group, we're happy to help them. If it's just a group of friends, we've even had birthday parties that are okay. revolving around service experiences as well. So the, the birthday girl maybe calls us, wants to line something up for her and her friends to do to celebrate her birthday but also give back to the community so volunteering really is for anybody and there's opportunities for everybody to get involved again this is Lauren Fink with the Cedar Valley Volunteer Center we're talking serving the valley and volunteerism is so so important and it's important to learn at an early age and something that you can do throughout your entire life mm -hmm. Um, let's talk about now some of the benefits that you see of volunteering. Yeah, well, I mean, one of the biggest benefits is you have a good time doing it. It's a way to get out there and meet new people, explore your interests, and then, of course, I always like to say that a benefit of volunteering, especially when you're at that age of kind of deciding what your future might look like, is exploring potential career opportunities or educational um, you know, resources and things like that to, to really get to know yourself a little bit more, get to know your interests, and try Try some new things in hopes that you can really develop your passions. Very good, very good. I know you do some fundraisers to create money because this you need to pay for 
services, pay for staff and things like that. What are ways people can give to that? Well, the, people can give to the Volunteer Center in a variety of ways. Obviously, you mentioned a fundraiser. We do our annual Appetite for Service fundraiser in March of every year. It's a really fun time and people are able to get involved and come and bid on items at a silent auction, participate in the live auction and just give back to the Volunteer Center that way. But of course, we always are accepting donations through our website. Again, mm -hmm. I think it's listed on there for you and you can give back at a, at a variety of levels just to help us continue to promote our mission here in the Cedar Valley. You do a lot with the University of Northern Iowa as well, and it's always good when you have a university in your backyard. Why is it good to have a connection to UNI? Well, it's fantastic because think about the number of students and faculty and staff that are on campus and wanting to get engaged. That's why we see such high engagement numbers is because we really do a lot of work um, at the university, mm -hmm. and we see a lot of engagement from the university wanting their students to get involved in service experiences. So we do a lot on campus to help bring the awareness to service. Now, is there a specific month where volunteering is more important? Or if I'm thinking I want to contact you, let you know I'm available, maybe not right now, but in the future, what do you do with my name and, and how does that system work? You know, the good thing again about our website is that you have the ability to log in and create a username and Great. password and have an account. So you can really express your interests and share your interests right on your account there. So if an opportunity pops up, it will help match you. It'll shoot you an email and say, hey, Eric, guess what? This opportunity came up and we really think it would be a good fit for you. Check it out. Mm -hmm. um, so th that's just one way that we do like to keep people involved. But as far as months go, every month is important for volunteering. But we do celebrate every year during the month of April, National Volunteer Week. So we really like to highlight volunteerism during that, during that week, in, during the month of April. Very good. And Lauren, in our next segment, we're going to talk about youth and student engagement. Just maybe how rewarding is it for you to see the younger generations working? We, I mean, it's just beyond rewarding. And we have a fantastic youth program coordinator at the Volunteer Center who works with ages three through high school. And then we have a lot of other people that do a lot of really great things with service for the Volunteer Center, all different ages, all the way up through college. And again, businesses getting connected with them. We'll, we'll talk to a couple of businesses and, and why that's important to get a whole entire business in the volunteering spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it, why is that important? Well, you know, we the the topic of employee engaged volunteerism is kind of a buzzword all across the nation right now. Really getting your employees engaged um, in service experiences and out there in the community. It's great for the employees. It's great for the employers. So I know Mandy will touch on a lot of those good topics here. Very good. Well, again, the Cedar Valley Volunteer Center, it's been around for how long? We're coming up on our 20th anniversary. Outstanding, outstanding. You see the contact information there, but there's a whole lot more that we ha are going to share with you about this unique organization. We'll be back with more and another special guest right after this here on Serving the Valley here on Channel 15 Cedar Falls Community Television. Are you tired of wondering what you'll find when you open your cable bill each month? We don't think it should be a surprise. Switch to CFU Cable and Internet Service for the best value every day for every customer. CFU Cable brings you a huge HD lineup and our all fiber internet connection is always fast. You get reliable service and friendly local support. Call 268-5283 for free installation today from CFU where every customer gets a great price. Dear CFU, recently we had a home energy audit through your house calls program. The audit gave us information we needed to make good decisions and your rebates helped us upgrade our insulation air conditioner and furnace. Our thanks to everyone at CFU. Without exception, your employees were helpful, friendly and efficient. We feel lucky to live in a city with a utility service the caliber of CFU. Cedar Falls Utilities, our family serving your family. Welcome back to Serving the Valley. Again, this series takes a look at some of the nonprofits, some of the service organizations that we have right here 
in the Cedar Valley and hopefully you see something either in this show or in future shows that you want to get involved with. Maybe it's giving your time, giving your talents, giving your money as well because all these service organizations need support from you, our community members. Again, I'm Eric Braley and now joining me on the set, special guest, Dr. Gassman. Welcome and let's talk about your role with um, the Cedar Valley Volunteer Center. Um, well, I am currently a board member for the um, Volunteer Center, and in that role as a board member, um, I um, also am a professor at UNI, Good. and so lean on Lauren and the work of the Volunteer Center a lot at UNI in what happens with getting the students at the University of Northern Iowa engaged in the community. So. I think even if I wasn't a board member, <laughs> I'd be calling Lauren all the time, so. Well, that's good, and I am very connected with you and I as well. I love living in a college town where you see these students come from all over the world to Cedar Falls. Mm -hmm. um, why is it great to tell them, hey, we got some opportunities for you to get hands-on volunteer experience right here in your new community here in Cedar Falls, Waterloo? Well, I think that it's really important to get students involved and students engaged in service learning. First of all, they're learning, but they're learning in a practical setting, and it, hopefully they're learning, they're taking what they learn in the classroom, whether they're in third grade or whether they're a junior at UNI, you're taking what you're learning in the classroom and you're actually applying it in a real life setting. And I think that when you're doing that, then hopefully you can sort of transform what you're learning in that setting into jobs, or sure. um, Lauren talked a little bit about realizing maybe this is what I want to do someday when I grow up or next year when I graduate from UNI. Um, and the other thing is there's something a lot more fun about <laughs> doing it rather than reading about it in a book or listening to someone lecture about it in a classroom. So provides a lot of practical application, it's fun, and hopefully there's meaning beyond the experience. Those are very, very good reasons why you and I students should be involved. Mm -hmm. You convinced me, is it hard to convince, <laughs> persuade them? And how do you get the word out to them saying, hey, we got this opportunity where you can make some new friends and really give mm -hmm. back to your community mm -hmm. through volunteering? Well, actually, um, Lauren is up on the UNI campus, um, and so she has an office in the student union, and so she is really out there connecting. Uh, there are different programs up at UNI called Volunteer Tuesdays. When they started that, um, it, it sort of exploded across the campus. And if you didn't know what Volunteers Tuesday was, it was like, what? You don't know what Volunteer <laughs> Tuesday is? And so probably the best recruiter of getting engaged is the students themselves telling other students about how much fun they had when they were doing that. Um, the other thing that I tell students is a great networking opportunity. Sure. Someday they're going to need a job, and I'm constantly talking to them about their little elevator speech, their mm -hmm. short little piece they want to share with someone. Um, and when you're out in the community and you're meeting people, you have more opportunity to meet that person that's going to be your potential employer someday. Looks good on a resume, it too. It looks great <laughs> on a resume. It looks great on a resume, yeah. So can you share a couple of stories or trips or things that they have done where you mm -hmm. did get a good group of you and I students going out and, and helping make the world a better place through volunteerism? There's a lot of examples um, up at you and I. Uh, probably the example I would share is there's a group that um, on campus called the Nonprofit Leadership Alliance. I'm the director of that group. And every year they, they do a request for proposals and they put a call out to the community and say, we will volunteer with you for an entire year. Uh, do you have a project or something? And they create a partnership. And a number of years ago, we actually did a health fair at East High and West High mm -hmm. in Waterloo. It hadn't been done before. Um, and so they did all of that. And the great thing about that particular example is it pulled in all sorts of different nonprofit sure. organizations and service agencies and all sorts of different things that were happening in the community to expose high school students to what's out there and, and hopefully make them more resourceful as well. Again, the contact information for the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley on your screen there. Uh, get in touch with them. You can also call them if you have any questions and taking any age. Right now in this segment, we're talking specifically the, the students college age, which is a good portion of our community here in the Cedar Valley. What do you, but it can be anyone. What do you like about a college student, though, volunteering and, and maybe how 
a younger student uh, mm -hmm. looking up to them, or an older person looking at the energy that they bring uh, to every unique volunteer event? Well, I think that there is benefits for all engaged. Um, and, and again, uh, whether the project is, you know, through the service learning project at a middle school or it's a, it's a sort of coordinated effort at UNI, it benefits the students. They're developing their skills. They're practicing what they've learned. Um, it hopefully benefits the agency and hopefully we see outcomes from the service that we're engaging mm -hmm. in. So hopefully the agency also um, sees that as well. And as a whole, it gets you and I engaged with the community. It gets the community more aware of what's happening at the university. Um, I think it's it's a win win win. <laughs> there can be that many wins. There definitely can. There can be that many there definitely wins. Can. Yeah, I think there can be. Well, and you mentioned even in your current role as a board of director, mm -hmm. you would be involved no, even if you weren't connected to you and I. Why is that? I mean, there's so many service organizations there. Why is this one you're just deeply passionate well, about? Well, I think that the volunteer center is the go-to place for what's happening in the Cedar Valley mm -hmm. when you want to engage in the community, when you want to provide service. Again, whether it's it's, I really want to, you know, June is looking not very busy for me. I'd love mm -hmm. to volunteer and help out with something, or I want something more regular. Um, if you're wondering what you can do and how you can help out, the Volunteer Center is the place to go. And that's true for the university, for faculty and staff and students, as well as for people in, in, in you know, in the community, um, aside from the university. And so that's why I think, regardless of whether I was a board member or, or not, um, Lauren will probably stay as a contact in my cell phone forever because <laughs> it's just the it's the go-to place for being engaged. That's outstanding, and I know that I saw you at one of the fundraising events as mm -hmm, well. It, mm -hmm. It's it's fun, fun to volunteer, fun to be connected, and fun to give back to your community. It is. It's fun, and that fun can actually be really beneficial because you're learning something too. So. Sure. Again, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for all that you do at UNI and with the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley, and it's a definite great service for the Cedar Valley. Great, thank you. All right, we'll be back with another segment here on Serving the Valley right after this. Dear CFU, we had Rick out today to inspect our gas furnace and fireplace. He noticed the fireplace logs were installed wrong back when our condo was built and fixed them. Then he installed my new furnace filter which usually takes me half an hour and a few choice words I learned in Cleveland. If all of your employees are like Rick, you have a great team. Thanks for the great service. Cedar Falls Utilities, our family serving your family. Welcome back to our set here in the City Hall Cable Division as we continue to bring you this new program called Serving the Valley. Again, it's a program where you, the viewer, get introduced to many different service organizations that we have right here in the Cedar Valley. And all these service organizations need you, need your friends, need your family, need your neighbor to be involved, to, to be active participants in so that we can make this an outstanding community. We are talking about the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley today. And joining me now on the set is a member of the Volunteer Center Board of Directors, Mandy Franken, and you are also with uh, a, a business and Farmers Bank as well. Why are you involved in, I mean, there's so many organizations, why are you specifically aligned with and connected with the Volunteer Center here? Um, I was approached by Lauren uh, to be a board member on the Volunteer Center. The thing I like about it is that it's not one specific thing mm -hmm. or organization that we help. As Lauren mentioned, we are involved in over a hundred, you know, we're partners with a hundred different businesses and really there are so many different options that you can choose from. Um, you know, it's just great that we're able to help so many different organizations out. And your business is supportive that you can give your time as well. Correct. Yep. Um, Farmer State Bank is really good about allowing their employees, you know, if there's something that we want to get involved in, 
we can certainly go and do that and show our support for the community. So throughout the show, we have talked about why volunteerism is great for individuals, but why is it great for businesses as well? You know, if I own a business, why should I encourage my employees to go out with me and, and to give back? Sure, there are several um, advantages to the employees. One of the first ones I'll talk about is skill development. When you volunteer, you really are learning new skills. Um, a personal example of that for me is last year, a group of us from Farmer State Bank went out and we helped build the Habitat for Humanity house. I by no means am a handy <laughs> person, but I was installing windows, um, right. helping to put siding on, and it's just some, I mean, I learned how to do so many new things that day. And in addition to that, it was really a great opportunity for me to get out of the office with my employees. Mm -hmm. And it was a great team building activity as well. Um, another benefit for volunteering is networking. Um, because of my volunteer opportunities, I have been able to connect with so many different people in the community. And I think it's also a very meaningful way to meet new friends. Mm -hmm. And, you know, without volunteering, I've crossed paths, you know, with several people that I would not have otherwise been able to do so. Um, another benefit is it improves value and raises your self-esteem. Going back to the Habitat House example, my employees and I were able to be there the day that the keys were handed oh, wow. to the new mother and her children. And it was just such a rewarding thing to be able to see how all of our hard work had paid off. And they were just so appreciative of everything that we had done to help them. And the final benefit that I'll talk about is that volunteering really sends a signal. Um, when you volunteer, it, it reflects a complete picture of who you are as a person. And it shows that you're really doing meaningful activities in your spare time. Mm -hmm. um, as Lauren and Julianne mentioned, as far as career building, studies have shown that when there are two equal candidates you know, competing for a job, uh, if someone has volunteering listed on their resume, it is really going to give them a competitive advantage over the other person. Yeah, definitely. You're looking for anything unique that stands out and people that go take the time and volunteer to help out their community. That definitely makes them a special individual. So those are the benefits to, to the employees, but there's benefits mm -hmm. to the employers as well. So if we have anyone watching that owns a business, these are some very, very important reasons why you should, you know, take a day off work and, and go do a, a teamwork bonding experience volunteering here. Right, correct. Um, that's the first thing I'll actually talk about is connecting employers with their employees. A lot of times, you know, you have senior level management mm -hmm. and, you know, lower level people and without volunteering, they might not have the opportunity to do something together as a group. So volunteering, you know, on a group project like the Habitat Home, that really gives them the opportunity to do that. Great. Uh, another benefit is that it really puts a human face on your company. Um, you know, when your employees are out there, it shows that they care about your community and, you know, they actually become a public ambassador to the community, showing that you're invested. Uh, a third benefit is that it helps your employees learn about the community and it also encourages them to get to know the community that they're serving on a personal level. And then the fourth thing that I'll talk about is it enhances your company's image, sure. obviously. Um, it can really bring a positive, um, you know, change to your image. A group of employees, it really makes a strong statement um, that you are, you know, invested in the people that you're serving. And you can see, again, the contact information on screen for the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley. Multiple ways to get in touch with them. And that's, uh, so we're talking about the benefits for you individually, the benefits to the business. But well, how does the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley kind of connect the dots and make it easy for the businesses who do want to do something like this? Yep, there are several ways that the Volunteer Center helps out businesses. Um, one way that we can do that is we can actually have a representative from the Volunteer Center come out to your business, join a staff meeting, kind of tell you what we're all about and you know what we could help you get involved in. Another way that we help out businesses is that we manage service projects. Um, that includes providing surveys, you know, talking about team building activities, talking about different leadership activities. 
And also probably the one I know that Farmer State Bank uses the most is that there is a weekly email that is sent out from the Volunteer Center okay. to a specific person at your business. It lists out all the volunteer opportunities for that week. So that way your employees know what's going on and you know it's a great way for them to get involved. When you're in business, there's a lot going on. It sounds like the Volunteer Center makes it easy. It to does, get. it really does. They send the information out to you. You don't have to go hunting for it. And I mean, it's, there's several opportunities every week. So it's a really great email to get. So you're, you've been involved for a couple of years and you plan on being involved with Volunteer Center for many more years? I do, I do, I love it. It's been about a year that I've been on the board and I've enjoyed my time and I foresee it going for a long, long time. I love it. Great, well thank you for joining us and we'll be back with our final segment here on Serving the Valley, focusing on the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley right after the short break. Are you tired of wondering what you'll find when you open your cable bill each month? We don't think it should be a surprise. Switch to CFU Cable and Internet Service for the best value every day for every customer. CFU Cable brings you a huge HD lineup and our all fiber internet connection is always fast. You get reliable service and friendly local support. Call 268-5283 for free installation today from CFU where every customer gets a great price. Dear CFU, recently we had a home energy audit through your house calls program. The audit gave us information we needed to make good decisions and your rebates helped us upgrade our insulation air conditioner and furnace. Our thanks to everyone at CFU. Without exception, your employees were helpful, friendly and efficient. We feel lucky to live in a city with a utility service the caliber of CFU. Cedar Falls Utilities, our family serving your family. Welcome back to our final segment here on Serving the Valley. Lauren Fink, the Executive Director of the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley, joining me back on the set for final wrap. And we've talked about a lot of very, very important information on this show. And hopefully, again, someone's watching this and saying, I need to volunteer. I need to get my business involved. I need to get my neighborhood involved. I need to do something. And whether, no matter what your age is, no matter what your ability is, you can find a service project for them, whether it's an hour once a month or 20 hours uh, every week. It, it's so simple, Eric. I mean, e really, anybody can just reach out to us via phone or email, contact the Volunteer Center, and we'll talk them through finding volunteer opportunities. But as I mentioned before, do take the time to visit our website. It is mm -hmm. a fantastic resource in the community. It's full of hundreds of available volunteer opportunities from about 125 nonprofit organizations in the community. So utilize that as a resource. And even if you have got questions beyond just looking at the website, reach out to us via phone, via phone or email, stop by our office. We'll be happy to be of assistance. This organization continues to grow as well. In the past year, about 10,000 people impacted About 10,000 individuals came through our doors to be a part of service activities, to get connected to various volunteer opportunities. It was a fantastic year of growth for the organization, and we hope and know that we can continue to see that in the Cedar Valley just because of the numerous amounts of people who really do become engaged in our community. 10,000 people is good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's continue to get that number going up and up, and hopefully the show will help with that. Nonprofit organizations, hey, we need some assistance. They need to contact you, yes. to, and you can help them. Definitely. You know, we're always looking for more agencies to work alongside. We've done and seen a lot of growth in that department over the course of the past few years, but there's always room for more, and we're here as a resource. All right. Well, we've talked about a lot. We've talked about you and I students. We've talked about businesses. There's a lot and it's year round. It's not like if you're watching the show during the summertime or if you're watching it in December. Oh, now's the time to do it. Wait till your schedule opens up. Tell some people about it. Again, you're doing a very, very good thing. And I really hope that this show helps promote the Volunteer Center of the Cedar Valley. Well, thanks, Eric. We hope so too. And we hope that people understand that there's ways for people to get involved, no matter what age they are, no matter if they're a part of a group or an individual. Thanks for joining us. And thank you for joining us here on Serving the Valley. We'll see you next time.